can you hear me and if you can see the screen please just let me know in the comment session okay okay kids so today we are going to draw some uh, draw some beautiful paintings okay it will be very easy for anyone who so sorry for uh, shifting today's session to the morning it's uh, actually some of our students wanted to so that's why so i thought everyone can do throughout the day as well so let's start okay and can you just let me know in the comment session uh, if i'm going too fast or too slow so just let me know in the comment session okay so the first thing is we are keeping our drawing book in portrait mode okay portrait mode or uh, in the vertical way <coughs> okay so i hope all of you are ready with your drawing book and pencil and eraser so let me start with, okay so i kept it in portrait mode and exact in the middle of my book okay exact in the middle of my book i'm starting uh starting the starting the drawing hi dear good morning okay, it's tanvi right okay tanvi so let's start okay so the first thing is we are going to draw a so first of all today we are going to draw the um, bird house okay a simple bird house and uh okay so let's start so for the first one we are going to draw like the roof of the bird house like this it's going to be very sim simple okay so let's start hello akriti okay dear so the first step is very simple mm. okay just draw one a shape or the triangle upper triangle line here and another slanting line here okay okay the third step is just draw one straight line connecting all these together like this but need to be extended a little to both side as well okay now our base shape of our uh, bird house is ready so we need to make it little starting a small line here and here and one dot on the top okay just adding one line here and one line on this end and adding one dot just above the tip of our roof okay next is just connect all these together so we will getting a proper roof and same here also making it little thicker by adding another layer okay so the next step is we are going to draw one circle inside or this is for the door of the bird house okay try to draw a proper circle okay if anybody of you are lagging behind the video you can just pause it and start once you are done okay so it's okay do properly okay so the next step is i'm going to draw one straight line like this till the end and one more this is for the stand for the bird bird house and i extended it until the end of my paper okay i extended it until the end of my paper to the bottom of my paper okay try to draw two straight lines like this
we are going to draw another uh, bird house here but it this this is this one we are going to draw a little on top of this one this one we draw exact in the middle and the second one we are going to draw a little higher than this then again the same steps okay like this and you can even add the 3d section now itself or you can do it later also any step is totally fine and this one i'm making quite lengthier one okay a little more lengthier than the previous one okay all the same steps And here I'm adding just one more base. Okay, this you can add or opt out, no worries. And for this I'm adding two circles or two doors for the bird house. Okay, so we have done one. Then again, the same step. Okay, I'm extending it up to the end of my page, okay? Draw two straight lines. All right, now we have one more bird house to be filled over this area, okay? This one also I'm going to keep it a little more higher than the first one which we have drawn. And again, the same step. Okay. Now it's size and shape you can decide. Okay, it's totally up to you. Uh, then we we are drawing a bird house. Okay, bird house like three bird house in a garden. It's okay, then we uh, we all grow, grow up like this only, okay? Don't say like, I'm not good, okay? <laughs> You're always better. Okay, dear, so I'm just adding the same step, okay? Just adding two more lines and going with the same patterns. all the same steps you can follow you can add again one more section here as the base and extend it to the down with some straight lines okay and here also you can add some uh, circles for the door of the bird house you can add as many as you want like one or two you can add if you have space you can add even three it's totally fine all right so our three bird house is ready uh, so just let me know in the comment section that you all have completed until this step okay so i will go to the next step and those who have completed can correct if there is any. I find my lines are not that straight. So I'm just correcting it. Okay. So you also try to correct if there is any mistakes. And it's not in the center, so I'm again correcting. A 
Right. I hope you guys have completed until this step. Okay, so let's go to the next step, okay? If anyone is lagging behind, may just pause the video and restart once you're done, okay, dears? Okay, so let's go to the next step. So, okay, dear, okay, send me. Okay, so again, see, I'm going to the bottom part of our uh, drawing sheet, okay? Just in the bottom part of the drawing sheet, we are going to fill the session, all the session in between this, between this birdhouse. We are going to draw some grass like this. You can see, right? Some, some kind of plants or some grass shoots we can draw like this. Okay, just fill this bottom part. It's okay if you fill it completely or uh, just below one or two also totally fine it's totally up to you okay you can fill entire bottom area okay like this you can add And even you can add some creepers like or the climbing plants like this. This is totally uh, optional, okay? If you don't want to add like this, you, it's okay, you can leave it. Or you can add like that also. Okay, just to make it more beautiful, okay? So... So it's a bird house, right? So we can add some birds also. Now it's your cre up to you, your creativity. You can even add a sun, uh, some clouds and your birds also. Okay, so let me add one bird here. So, and one curve here and one another curve here. Okay, and just some lines here for the tail. And you can add one curve here for the wing and one curve here and a small beak also. And just one dot for the eyes. Okay, and again you can draw some flying birds or anything you can draw. Okay, I'll just add one more bird here if you can see properly. You can add one circle for the head of the bird and another oval shape like this. Okay, then one curve to here and one curve to here. Okay, and just add some bumpy lines like this. This is for the wings, okay. You can add some detailings as well. And for the tail, you can add like this. And for the beak as well. Okay, and you can add two eyes also. So it's so simple to draw a bird, flying bird. So small, small, simple birds you can add. Okay. And what else? Yeah, this much is enough, I guess. Or even you can add one more bird here flying to the side. Side pose also we can draw. Like this is for the head. It's the body. Again, the tail. And we need to draw only one wings because it's the side pose. We are drawing on just one wings, one wing. Okay, and the second wing is actually hidden behind the first wing. So you can draw like this also. 
so it's done three birds and three bird house you can add as many as bird you want okay you can even add anything more you can add some clouds or sun or anything it's yes dear you can even add creepers anything anything you can add to your drawing okay it's totally up to your creativity this is just a base drawing now it's your choice to add anything you want okay uh, even the clouds also you can add i'm not going to add it right now i'm just going to paint that directly so uh, i'm not going to add that draw that if you want to draw you can draw you can draw sun also you can draw flowers anything thank you other okay so let's draw let's continue okay now now let's keep our pencils away and um, and take our paintings yes uh, dear you can take the oil pastel also or crayons also anything you want to fill any medium whichever you are comfortable you can take that i'm just mentioning what medium i'm using okay so that's it you can use oil pastel for it definitely you can okay so let's start now again it's to your choice to pick the colors for your uh, bird house but initially i'm just going to fill the sky first okay so those who are uh, those who have those who are doing with painting okay watercolor or poster color i want you to do the sky first okay because when we are going when we are doing the painting uh, with watercolor especially it's better to use the light colors in the beginning and going to the dark color so i feel like first let's fill the sky with light blue and then gradually we can once it's dry we can fill the um what Yes, yes, dear. You can use crayon colors also. Yeah, as I know, for little kids, it will be fine to use the uh, crayons or color pencils. Okay, so you can use anything. No worries. And for the bigger kids, you can use the watercolor painting also. Okay, so let's start coloring. So those who are using painting can start with uh, the sky. Okay, and I just dipped uh, the light blue shade. and i took my six round round brush okay six point round brush and what i'm doing is have a look tears just damping only like this only okay so what you what what it is you will get a sky effect like that okay you don't need to fill completely okay so with the light blue shade i'm just filling the entire area leaving the bird house and birds okay just filling the entire area with this light blue shades not even filling just tapping hello kriti i'm happy to see you are here i hope you are doing nicely to so nicely we can fill like this okay uh, so i'm going to do in the bottom side as well okay happy new year dear yes happy new year to all of you yes it's our first class after new year no problem dear what you can do is just uh, rewind the session the session will remain here only you can start from the very beginning okay dear so no worries that's why we are conducting it in live sessions so no one will miss it if you are busy also you can do it later no problem the session will remain here but the thing is just try to do Okay, so I'm filling the entire down area as well with the same process. Okay, not just filling. And it's okay if slight, slightly if it overlap the 
bird or anything it's fine because we are going to fill that with some bright colors than the light blue so it's totally fine and i'm just giving one more layer here and there all right our sky is almost done okay dear so let's go to the next step okay so just um, bird house now okay so let's start with the bird house so for the bird house also you can pick any of your favorite colors other than blue and green okay because blue and green we are going to use for the sky and uh, sky and the sky and the grass we, which we have drawn uh, dear i'm i'm just using a normal drawing book and it's actually 130 gsm uh, drawing sheet okay it's just a normal drawing sheet student level drawing sheet only but 130 gsm okay whenever you are uh, picking the drawing book just have a look uh, if the gsm of the paper is mentioned so the more gsm the gsm means the there will be a pattern in it like the thickness of the paper okay so you can use 130 gsm for the beginners it's better to use 130 gsm or normal paper also totally fine okay all right so i just took my brown shade for filling the roof of the bird house okay okay so i'm taking the brown shade and use very carefully you can use a seven point brush for that with the tip or any brush which is less than seven also fine okay but you need to do very carefully and make sure the sky is dried by the time okay so with the light brown shade i have filled the roof and it's spreading, spreading, spreading. Okay, and with the light brown shade itself, I'm going to fill the, the wooden. Okay, dears, you can use any medium for coloring, whatever. It's okay, totally fine, but do properly, okay? and do the mixing also properly thank you dear uh, the next session also next sunday dear next sunday every sunday i am trying all the sessions are every sunday only and last sunday i'm sorry i couldn't do and in case if there is like um, some special occasions and all probably will come sessions and all the updates will be uh, all the details will be updating on our group only so no worries okay it's like special occasions like christmas or uh, sankranti also coming so such special occasion drawings if i'm drawing up this will be it will be update on our group dear Okay, so all of you carefully fill the session, fill the area with your paint. Those who are using painting, you can use very carefully. Just fill with light brown, okay? With light brown. With light brown, you can nicely fill it. All right, so the my light brown filling is done so let it dry for shading i'm allowing it to dry and now and now the let's fill the um, let's fill the bird house okay 
Oh, I missed some area here. Perfect. Okay, so let's fill the bird house now. I'm choosing a red color first for the first bird house. You can choose your favorite color, any of your favorite color. And okay, so just fill the bird house. Uh, the stick under the bird house actually that is the stick where the bird house is mounted okay so it should that's the ground okay so i have made it until the end of the page okay if you have drawn until here only like the bird house is here it's totally fine wherever you have drawn the bird house it's totally no problem okay just you need to touch that stick to the bottom of your page or even you can add a, a a simple line also to make like a ground level to show the ground level okay that's it okay so have done with the red as well let me just pick the next color I'm going to choose a I'm going to choose another yellow shade you can choose any of your favorite color obviously and I'm going to fill this birdhouse with that yellow shade. Okay, now it's done with the yellow shade also now the third again you can pick your favorite color mm. so let me take my purple color okay just fill it properly not miss any point you can just pause the video and and restart once you are done all right so done with the bird house. I hope you all have done until this step. Next is I'm going to fill the bottom part. Okay, the the grass or plant session which we have drawn so again i'm picking my light green shade okay light green shade and just going to fill the grass okay those who haven't completed this do slowly no problem and finish slowly only no worries but you can pause the video With the light green shade, we are just filling all the grass or the plants which we have drawn below the tree. Ok, 
okay and if you have added so many things like some flowers or anything you can paint that also okay okay i'm just going to <clears throat> I'm just going to add some red dots here simply like for the flowers okay I haven't drawn if you want draw you can also draw I'm just simply adding some red dots here with the paint itself All right, and now we can paint our bird also, okay? Let's paint the birds and for the bird also, you can choose any different colors, okay? Or colorful or vibrant colors you can choose. Okay. I'm choosing an orange color for the bird here and whenever you are drawing try to draw it with very light try to draw like uh, using lightly like the pencil pressure should be very light so that these marks should not be visible I am drawing it hard so that you can you all can see clearly but when you are drawing yourself try to draw very lightly so that when we color or for the correction also no marks will not be there and when we are drawing also when we are painting also all these um what this uh, unwanted pencil marks will not be there okay or it's okay we can uh, outline it and hide it also so it's okay but try to draw very lightly so i just took some orange color for the bird for our first bird yes dear you can add sun or clouds or anything totally up to you it's you it's, now it's totally for your creativity you can add more birds also anything totally up to you you can add anything you want and color it very nicely also and I'm adding some red color for this bird. Yes, dear, you can add sun, you can add clouds, you can add sun to you. Okay, dear, uh, for this I'm using a dark pink color, okay, a dark pink color, okay, the first bird I have used orange, second bird I have used a red color and third one the dark pink, rose pink or okay, you can use any color, no worries. And yes, now the basic coloring is done. Next is our shading part, okay? So for the shading part, hopefully our birdhouse are totally dried now. Those who are using painting, our birdhouse is totally dried now. So I'm just picking some dark brown shade, okay? Very dark brown shade. And what I'm doing is just going across the roof of it. Okay. now this is the time for shading and we are just, you don't need to fill completely okay and I'm filling the circles also with dark yeah, dark dark brown shade thank you dear
okay now i'm filling all the circles or the doors with the dark brown okay and with the dark brown itself we are adding some shades some light shadings here okay for the so i'm just adding some dark brown only in one side of the one side of the stand which we have drawn okay any one side uh, which time is convenient for all of you actually? Akriti, maybe we can talk on WhatsApp dear. You can just send me a text regarding this, okay? We can discuss that and we'll change the time accordingly, okay? Just let me know what's the best time you all are convenient. Okay, let's discuss after the session, okay, dear? And yes, fill it. Okay, now I'm using the dark, dark brown for the shadings, okay? So all I'm shading is only one side, okay? If you are shading the side of the one birdhouse, do the same for all the birdhouse, okay? Don't mix it. All right. Okay, so the shading with brown, dark brown is done. Now let me take some dark red color. Some dark red and I'm just shading only one side here. Okay. Those who are using color no watercolor can use do like this and those who are using crayons or oil pastel also can do this kind of shadings okay okay you have to shade it to make the make your painting more beautiful and for this yellow one i'm using a orange color for shading okay and for the purple also i'm taking a dark purple more dark purple for shading okay our shading part is done now and now let's go to the bottom side okay bottom side we have done all the all the grass with light green random some lines on either side of either side of the uh, the grass okay those who are using oil pastel also can do the same mixing and shading session. Okay. Okay, now we have drawn one creeper here. That also we shouldn't miss. We can use a deep green and just add colors to the creepers and now you have your bird for shading and you can pick another dark color for the shading part and just randomly give some shadings okay for the orange bird you can shade with a, yeah, a red color and for the red bird, you can shade with a dark brown color. No, light brown color. Okay, red bird, you can add some brown shades. And for the pink bird, you can even add some black shades. All 
right so the painting is now completed next is the last step you can outline with any of your marker or even just with the with the paint itself and if you are using oil pastel with the oil pastel itself you can add some add some outlining okay now I, again i'm picking my black color picking my black color and i'm giving some shadings like this okay only on one side inside the door of our birdhouse each one okay on each side i'm giving just shading like this okay all right so our painting session is done okay dear yes dear you have to you must send me the picture okay please i would love to see all your work and all of you okay i'm receiving very very beautiful pictures every day but i would look forward for this time also okay so i'm just going to outline okay so for that i pick my uh, a normal pilot pen okay you can even use your marker or your or you can even give outline with your paint brush itself if you are that much confident okay uh, dear you can just send me to my number that uh, uh, in our group my number is there okay you can message to the admin like that you option you can choose and just send me directly please okay, now okay dear okay so like this we can just start outlining every single part okay make sure it's totally dried up okay like this just outline it Thank you, dear. <laughs> so welcome and please send me your work also would love to see what all things you have done so i would i will be waiting after the session for your drawings okay so those who are doing with me along with me or after the session also the live will be there so you can send to me okay thank you dear will give a nice nice emphasis on your drawing okay while doing this creeper i'm outlining only the um, only the leaves which we have drawn okay not the entire thing okay because it's already one line is there which we have drawn with the pencil that's clear this it's clear there so let's leave outlining the creeper which we have drawn and simply outline the You can even use a sketch pen marker or a permanent marker also. Just see which one is working better on your drawing. You can use that. There is no rule for which pen should use for outlining. You can choose anything, even a even a ball pen also fine if you are you doing properly.
All right, now the almost outlining also done. No, just two more birds left. Let's outline them also. Okay, while outlining also, you can give more detailings like feathers. I can add some more detailings. Okay, any anything you can do, just just do it with your creativity. All right, so our painting is done, okay? Okay, so I hope you guys have enjoyed or done properly. So dears, don't forget to send me your picture, okay? Those who have completed can send your picture. Those who are still doing can do it slowly. Just let me know if you enjoyed the session. And don't forget to like our video and don't forget to subscribe as well. And stay on our groups for the updates, okay, dears? Uh, so I will be updating any unexpected sessions or regular sessions, everything. I will be updating on our group only, okay? So stay in that group also. And, and that's it. So let me wind up the session, okay? Take care. Take care.